All right, I'm gonna go catch it. That's the best snake in the glades, in my opinion. Hey, 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 it's okay. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Holy okay. crap. Guys, oh my gosh. This is, oh my, this is probably the prettiest rat snake I've ever seen in my life. Southern Florida is world famous for the biodiversity made possible by its warm and wet climate. And while millions flock here every year to see the alligators and birds, the native snake species are at the top of my wildlife watch list. One target in particular has been eluding me for years now, but that was about to change on this sunny March morning. Hey, 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 it's okay. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Holy okay. crap. Guys, oh my gosh. This is, oh my, this is probably the prettiest rat snake I've ever seen in my life. Classic burnt orange Everglades rat snake. Now this is just a subspecies of Eastern rat, just like the ones that we get in North Carolina and in South Carolina. But you can see, this is a very morphologically distinct species compared to what we normally find. Much more elongated, and of course, you do not get this insane color of orange. And check out the belly, like cream yellow belly. You don't see that in other rat snakes. Um, and I think this makes them probably the most beautiful rat snake in North America. And even the eyes on this are just the beautiful orange color. This was actually the number one snake I wanted to see um, here in Southern Florida, just because you can't find them anywhere else and because they're beautiful. This individual is not an adult, definitely not full grown. He could probably get two to three times this size once he is an adult. But you know, large snakes like that are often villainized. They're often seen as dangerous just because they are very large. But there is no reason to fear these rat snakes, just like there's no reason to fear the ones that we get back in North Carolina. This is a non-venomous species and they are constrictors. Um, so that long body, while it does look skinny, is solid muscle. And what these will do is they're um, ambush predators. So they'll hide and wait in a rodent or a lizard, a small snake maybe will pass by. They'll strike and then they'll coil around it um, and slowly asphyxiate it. And as you know, medium sized to large reptiles, they do represent a lot of energy in this ecosystem. So these are preying on all kinds of small mammals, small reptiles, um, maybe amphibians. They're pretty opportunistic. So kind of whatever they can find and hunt, which helps keep populations of their prey items in check. Uh, but also their food for lots of animals. Of course, out here in Florida, you have alligators, which would snack on a snake, and tons of predatory bird species. And even a few predatory snakes like indigos and eastern diamondbacks that would make a snack out of a rat snake. So they're beautiful, they're ecologically important, they're not dangerous at all to humans. And so if you do see these in the wild, you can just appreciate them for the amazing reptiles that they truly are. We'll get this beautiful animal back in the wild. And he was right over here, heading towards this tree. So that's where we'll put him. He's right back in the pier. So these are semi-arboreal, just like the rat snakes back home as well. And we'll let him go on about his day. But what an absolutely gorgeous animal that was. Wow, can't believe that just happened. That makes all of Florida worth it right there. God, that's awesome. He's so pretty. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like or comment telling me your favorite part. Until next time, stay safe and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.